All right, it is 941 and I hit one of my trading goals. At least it depends on how this is going to open. This could open really toxic and down. Uh, this is the first time I'm in the setup where I actually get in the halt, and I think it's going to go in my favor. You never know for sure, I guess, but I will be watching this, and I am going to sell immediately, as, at least as soon as I'm able to, when it opens again. But I was trading this one, and it was being a bit toxic, but eventually um, I had it into mind how I'm supposed to trade this thing. I did try a few times. I am down a bit, just, well... This is showing the position I have right now, um, making up for some of it. But I am down like eight bucks, um, realized because I did try this a few times. I tried to buy at nine thirty two when it looked like it was just going to have a small dip and then regain itself above VWAP right here. And now I'm starting to realize that VWAP is different with um, ETrade Pro here and also TD Amina Trade because ETrade bases its VWAP off of the uh, market open and then. TD Immediate Trade does it since the pre-market price action, so that's something I've kind of learned with that. And I did try it when it looked like it was just going to have a small dip and then regain itself above the trend line. And then I saw when it just didn't look like it was going to do it. I was in at 136. And then I got out when it was downtrending. You can call it very emotional or whatever. Um, I could have just held on to the position and then cut when it looks like it's going to break the day low but it did look like it at the time and it never actually broke it until here then i tried again at 934 yeah this one got me pretty good what i should have done was just waited for this thing to actually close a candle above the vwap level and then if it opens a new candle and then it breaks the level like it did right here which has ended up um ended up being my current trade right now I probably would have avoided these paper cuts. I did try again at 934 when it looked like it was going to do it and it did break the line a little. And um, I think, no, actually in this one I got in when it was like near the bottom of the range, thinking I could be in right here uh, near the bottom. And then if it fails, I'm not going to lose as much. And then I did sell that when it actually broke this level here, but it was just brief. And I've kind of learned that if it breaks, my risk level just a little bit and then it starts to regain itself or at least continue to consolidate that I should continue to watch it and see if it's something that I can be able to um, you know perhaps trade again later and see it work later and then I did try another time at 938 right here when it looked like it was going to do it yeah this one was one where it was looking like it was going to do it and then when it looked like it was going to maybe get back the other way I did get out at 939 and then i got in at 940 not the best entry at 141 and a half but at least it was a confirmation for the most part that it was breaking above this range right here so yeah i'm gonna see what's gonna happen with this maybe you can hear my voice a little shaky because you know halts can go really badly too and you know i hope that's not foreshadowing but i know that could be realistic i'll make an update later all right, I just got out of it. It wasn't halted for that long, actually. Probably helped that I was recapping my um, trades, but yeah, I don't mind. I sold right when it opened at, um, what is it? Yeah, 149 and a half. So right around here is when I got out. It did have a wick to VWAP, and it can try to uptrend some more, but yeah, I don't mind my sell here. This was my first experience with a halt. Maybe if this happens more often, I might consider making my risk level a break under VWAP when something like this happens. I don't mind that I sold at 149.5 and it's now, you know, at 159. Um, this thing could have halted down and then I would have been pretty toxic. I wasn't able to regain everything from the first few trades, but I think I learned a lot from those first few trades and... I can try to avoid that in the future and just have something where, you know, I just simply make my risk level the day low. I don't try to trade swings when it just goes one way and the other way, especially because this one's all wiki. And then when it actually breaks the level and it actually, you know, not just closes above the breakout level, which is VWAP and also open a candle on top of it. You know, that's something that could just allow me to have less paper cuts. 
I'll make an update as to what this one does later. I'll keep looking for more setups in the meantime. It is 11.32 p.m. I'm here to call it off. Overall, I'm going to be down on the day 4 bucks 14 cents, and I was able to confirm that here. Uh, trading UNCY, and I am not going to do this anymore where I trade something that at the time uh, with each trade it has VWAF being the line since the market opened, and then TD immediate trade being the VWAP line since pre-market. I'm going to stick to TD immediate trade. This could have been something where I wasn't trying to trade it around VWAP, but instead just a breakout level. And yeah, the first trade was fine uh, because I did try. And even though, you know, like I didn't wait for a confirmation and that it was breaking out, it was the second minute since the market opened. And then when it looked like it was going to maybe break the day low, I got out, even though it didn't break it. I don't mind that because, again, it just opened. Who knows how volatile, how wiki a stock can trade. Um, its personality shows later um, after a few more minutes. And then the second trade, I didn't wait for a confirmation to go long once it was actually like opening a candle above the breakout level and then uptrending or anything like that. But I did sell appropriately when it did break the day low which was right here just by a little bit which is fine and then this one was bad altogether because I didn't wait for a confirmation to go long and then I didn't sell um, because it broke my risk level I just sold because it just looked bad and then I got out and it never broke the risk level so that one was bad and then this is the one that worked out and I was able to make some money off of it I could have been um, you know much more profitable if the halt was better but that's totally fine it did get as high as 163. Let me just see what that would have been, which would have been like best case scenario. Yeah, um, I can be able to avoid these paper cuts and I'm going to not use VWAP anymore from E-Trade, at least in the very morning. Um, it does seem to correct itself over a longer period of time uh, once it's actually, you know, trading for a while. So yeah, that's pretty much it. A bunch of good lessons, a bunch of tiny trades and uh, tiny lessons and yeah i got to be a part of a first for the first time in my trading career a halt that went in my favor pretty cool i look forward to being something um <laughs> being in something like this again